A serial rock thrower has been haunting drivers on Interstate 5 overcrossings on Florin Road, Southland Park Road, and Pocket Road. The first victim was hit two months ago. Uh, that bowler uh, hit the steering column and actually injured the driver. She lost control of the vehicle and actually hit the cell wall. Considering the recent death of a man in Toledo, Ohio, where four boys were charged with murder after dropping a sandbag from an overpass, CHP knew they had to find the Sacramento suspect soon. I think we were all frustrated. That day came on Christmas when investigators arrested 47-year-old Pedro Espinoza. They say he matched the suspect description and had a backpack full of rocks. Investigators tell me he wasn't throwing the rocks over, he was pushing them through this gap. Take a look at the damage one of the rocks left in this truck. The victim, who only wants to be identified as Michael, shared those photos with me, showing how the boulder crashed through his front windshield, bending back his passenger seat. What do you want to say about this guy who almost killed you? Well, blessed. Uh, I want to say first that I'm blessed and blessed that no one else was hurt, uh, that I was safe. It's property damage. And, uh, and I think more than anything else, I, I want to pray for him uh, and ask that others pray for him as well. Investigators have identified seven victims and believe there could be more. The arresting officer says he talked to Espinoza on the day of the arrest. I asked him, I said, well, how would you feel if somebody hit your daughter in the face with a boulder and, and loses control and kills your grandchild? So I, you know, I was trying to connect with them on that level. And he hopes others will learn that this prank is dangerous. Well, it's not a joke, obviously. Put yourself in that situation if it's one of your family members. In Sacramento, Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.